black power, my melanated people around the globe, the only way that we're going to ever overthrow the oppressor, y'all know what we got to do. We got to bond. We got to unite. That's the only way that we can overcome. And not only that, we got to pay more homage to those who came before us, the ones that we actually stand on their shoulders. We talking about the ones who were tricked into chattel slavery, those who suffered, those who died, you know, them the only people that I know that died for us as a people. I know the Christians tell you that Jesus died for your sins. If you think about it, like I said in my last video, there's nothing Jesus did not go through. The character in the Bible that black people didn't go through and suffer even more and still suffer to this day because of the skin that we're in. Jealousy is the author of murder. See, when you don't know yourself as a black man and a black woman, the narrative that white supremacy try to give you as if we are scum of the earth. But when you go back and re-examine history in its totality, in its infancy, when you go back and really do your real life research, all you find is African first. The DNA that created everything in existence came from the black man and the black woman. And without the black man and black woman and black child on this earth, nothing can be accomplished for a people who are making monetary gain and slaves out of our people mentally. Black people are still slaves in the 21st century. If Kanye West would have put it in context like the way I just spoke it, then I would agree with him. But to call my African ancestors slaves because they wanted to, that's preposterous. You know why? It's a phallus. Black people in those days killed the oppressor. It was kill or be freedom. Kill or be freedom. Blacks in those days knew that they were not property. Blacks in those days had a sense of pride about themselves. They knew where they came from. Today, slave, he don't give a fuck about where he come from. He just want to be like his former slave master's children. And that's called Stockholm Syndrome. This is what this video is about, Stockholm Syndrome. We have one of our own who suffers from Stockholm Syndrome. It's not even funny no more. Kansas Owens. Coon, Kansas, Owens. It's not even funny no more. I used to laugh at her, but her last video that I saw and I felt the anger and pain and sorrow from being black. From being black. This sister really hate being black. She hate black men in particular. She hate black men like white supremacy hate black men. She see black men a threat to everything in existence. That's why she had no feeling when George Floyd got killed. I don't care if one is a criminal. 
No one should die in that manner about nothing. I don't care if one does drugs before. The way that man was murdered on television does not get a right for him to be snuffed out like that because some cracker feel that he want to kill black people. Here's a sister who fails to recognize that Ahmaud Aubrey was minding his own business. And when he got killed, she called him a criminal because he stopped by an empty house that was being built and checked it out. How many people have been walking through the neighborhood and see a house being built on a stop and check it out? I've done that before, but that's a crime. He's a criminal because he had an altercation with some officers, officers before. So he deserved to die by some race soldiers. He deserved to die because he a black man. Kansas Owens just recently attacked LeBron James for speaking out as a black man. Just tweeted out that he said, I'm so damn tired of seeing black people being killed. It's being used to create more hate this isn't about one officer. It's about the entire system. They always use our words to create more racism. I'm desperate, so desperate for more accountability. That's all LeBron James said. Kansas Owens went in on LeBron in a way you could tell she hates black people. I mean, she said physically, and I'm listening to her words, she said, LeBron James is despicable. And I can't stand him physically. Whoa, she really hate the physical essence of, of a black man or where she come from. This is Stockholm Syndrome where you identify with your oppressor. And she said she's a free thinker. How can you be a free thinker when you think like the oppressor thinks? How can you be a free thinker, Kansas Owens, and you think like your oppressor? You are a Trump supporter. Trump is a bona fide racist. It's on paper. We're not going to go into the lawsuit that he had because he didn't want to rent out or sell his property to black people. It was more or less he didn't want black people to rent none of his, his properties. And it's a lawsuit against him on that particular uh that particular case could be looked up where Trump was sued. So we're not going to go into all that. We know what Trump is. We know all about him. We know who support him. And for someone to look like me to jump on that bandwagon, that's a lot of self-hate. Stockholm Syndrome, where you identify with your master, your abuser. You know, you got people who... Uh, who identify with being raped by their brute, their abusers, been raping them so long that they identify with and just go along with the whole program. And that's what happened to Kansas Owens. I thought that black people abused her, but she was abused by four white guys that she went to school with who threatened to kill her. And they put a lawsuit against the school. She went to Stanford High School. So I, I just don't understand um, where the hate come from. What made her hate black people so much? And it has to be Stockholm Syndrome. It has to be. 
she married a guy named George Former. If you do any background, he's from Great Britain, the UK. If you do any background on this guy, you would see that his family participated in the slave trade. His family made money from the slave trade, but this is who she married. She wanted to be married to somebody from the UK who had that money and the power. Some people sell their soul cheap. Kansas Owens has sold her soul to, to identify, to try to identify with white people. It's about money and self-hate. She really hate black people. I thought it was all about money. To hear that tone, go back and look. I'm going to show y'all some of that video at this presentation. Again, y'all, Kansas Owens defends the white officer who shot the sister in Columbus, Ohio. She was only 16 years old. She, she deserved to die. George Floyd, she support the officer that choked out George Floyd with his knee. She supported uh, the police for shooting uh, Jacob Blake in the back seven times. You know, this police grabbed his brother and shot him seven times in the back. I don't know if Jacob Blake had a, a record or whatever, criminal record. Since he had a criminal record, he was black. He deserved to get shot in the back seven times. That's identifying with your oppressor. That's how the oppressor want black people to die. People support, white people support the death of black people. And that's what Kansas Owens is doing. She's supporting deaf soldiers who bring a death to black people. She wants the black man to be totally dismantled from the planet Earth like the oppressor. She says she's a free thinker. How can she be a free thinker thinking like our oppressor? Kansas Owens, you're a big coon. She's a coon. She doesn't even speak out when these race soldiers, let me say this again, these race soldiers, when they go shoot up grocery stores, 10 people were killed. Y'all remember that uh, white Syrian guy who went in that grocery store and shot up? 10 people, and just because he was, he looked at white, well, he is white, Syrian people are white, a lot of them are white. Um, the cops shot him in the leg. They didn't kill him, and he killed 10 people. They, talk, they took him in with no other trouble. They shot him in the leg and spared his life because he was black, because he was white, I mean. What was that guy's name? The ATL dude? The long guy? Jacob Long? What was that guy's name, man? Uh, 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 uh. I don't even have it wrote down. I'm talking about the Atlanta. The guy that shot eight people. And they was all Asian descent. I know his last name is Long. I can't think of his first name. But he shot eight people. It was all Asian, and the white people, cops try to say he just had a bad day. He was um, visiting, visiting, visiting these spas a lot, and they were temptation to him sexually. So he got tired of facing his urges, so he, he wanted to eliminate the urges. He see these are, are bad spots. Come on, man. Come on, man. I didn't hear Kansas Owens speak out on that. I didn't hear 
I didn't hear her speak out on nothing. And she testified before Congress that white supremacy wasn't a threat. Didn't white supremacy attack the Capitol? But they they proclaim, white people proclaim that Kansas Owens is very bright. She said 98% of the crime that happened in this country, black people commit. Come on, man. She called George Floyd despicable that he deserved to die. A man that has a daughter. A family. But George Floyd is despicable. He deserved to die that horrific way. Come on, man. Ahmaud Arbery jogging through a neighborhood. Race soldiers want to kill him. Man, I saw that shit on film. That shit was crazy. The one race soldier, the dude's son, tried to attack the brother. Brother taking the gun away from this chump, whooping his ass. His father come off the truck and shoot him with a goddamn gun. And the motherfucker that hit him, he filmed the shit. The motherfucker that was driving the truck, he filmed it. He thought this shit was going to be an open and, I mean, a shut case where nobody going to say shit about it. I never heard anything about these race so They still on trial. What's going on with that case? You know, they keeping that hush hush. You know, dude was an ex-police. Kansas Owens cited to ride with those those race soldiers that did that to Amar Aubrey. She sided with those people. She said he, he, he deserved to die. Kansas Owens really hate LeBron James. LeBron James didn't say nothing wrong. I'm so damn tired of seeing Black people killed by police. I took my tweet down because it bring, it bring, it's being, no, it says it, it's being used to create more hate. This isn't about one officer. It's about the entire system. And they always use our words to create more racism. I'm so desperate for more accountability. What's wrong with that? And he, what made Kansas Orm upset because the man that shot Maya, uh, what was her last name? God damn, I would have forgot that damn quick. We have Maya Bryant, 16 years old from Columbus, Ohio. When the police shot her, LeBron said, you're next. And that's the tweet. Told, told the cop he was next to get the same situation and punishment as Derek Chauvin. Chauvin, whatever his name is. The chump in the George Floyd situation. The cop that killed George Floyd. Then Kansas Owens and Fox News jumped on LeBron James. See, they still want to stop the black man in this country from being outspoken. That is a no-no in this country. That's why you don't hear nothing from the minister Louis Farrakhan these days. They try to take his Instagram account, Facebook account, to keep the silence. You know what I'm saying? They want you silent. LeBron James, that tweet is upsetting the, the status quo. And they got to send a Negro to jump on and pounce. I told y'all, man, that these motherfuckers got these serpent-ass niggas to try to keep us in check. Fuck you, Kansas Owens. You know what I mean? Fuck you. You know? We know you ain't black. You hate black people. So if you hate black people, fuck you. And hope you see my motherfucking video. I don't give a fuck about you. Use a motherfucking robot. And I'm glad that you expose your fucking hand. You're just like Trump. So they cannot send you nowhere as an agent. You can't take us out because we already know how you coming, baby. You know, you ain't you you can't come like William O'Neill, how he set up uh how he set up the Black Panther uh uh golly uh Fred Hampton Jr. Y'all see Messiah uh 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 Judas and the Messiah, you know what I'm saying? So Kansas Owen 
We already know, bitch, you can't come amongst us and try to fake the funk like you one of us, then take information back to your fucking slave master. We glad that your house nigga ass exposed your fucking hand. You exposed your hand. You ain't got no game. See, a real motherfucking black person that works for the fucking white man doesn't speak all the time. You don't never hear Clarence Thomas speaking out. You know, he's silent. He's for the white status quo. If it wasn't for his situation with Anita Hill, we wouldn't know nothing about Clarence Thomas. He could come amongst a motherfucker. He don't run his mouth. He's smart. You feel what I'm saying? Obama, he could come amongst niggas and put it down and take his motherfucking information back to the white man because he's smart. He don't run his mouth like Kansas Owens. They love her. White conservative, white people that hate black people love her because she thinks just like her slave master. And she dangerous. Not really, because we already know how she coming. <laughs> she exposed her hand. She really hate black people. I thought it was all about money, but I can tell from that video, she really hate herself. So if one hate herself, how the fuck her husband think that there's loyalty between them two. She don't even love herself, so if she can't love herself, it's impossible for her to love that Caucasian, you know. She says she love being Caucasian, and she only doing that because she don't like herself. She don't love herself. That's the only reason why she's trying to identify with Caucasian people. But push cut to a shove, she'll bite his motherfucker up, bite his ass up. He got to know if she don't love herself, it's impossible for him, for her to love him. Even though she trying to identify with being white, with a black ass, with that motherfucker African ass nose she got. <laughs> she kind of lighted up a little bit too. I don't know if it's her white personality, her disdainful hate for black people, and she done lighten up a little bit. I don't know if she used a face cream. But I know that bitch look in the mirror like, I hate this shit. That pretty ass skin she got. She's a pretty ass sister. But her mind up here is white. She gone up here. She's retarded. Any motherfucker that hate himself, that is a mental illness. Any motherfucker hate himself, it's a mental illness. I don't give a fuck how many degrees you got. I don't give a fuck if you a rocket science. It's rocket science that are black don't even know about the great history that African people have. <laughs> they believe the narrative of what white supremacy say about them. So, um, to me, LeBron James was right on his tweet. You know, he didn't have to take it down, but I see with him having it up, he created a, uh, a situation. Let me turn this heat down, y'all. This shit jumping. Yeah, man. Kansas Owens, always horn for white supremacy. But she, hey, she was like that young Pharaoh nigga. She worse than young Pharaoh, though. She take it to a different level. I think Young Pharaoh just trying to get some money, man, tricking motherfuckers. I don't think Young Pharaoh went off the deep end, y'all. I think that was a game plan. You know what I'm saying? To act like he was supporting Trump to get some Trump supporters on his podcast to get more following. And, you know, they send money to motherfuckers if they think you turn. If they think you turn, they'll send you some money. And that's who been um, supporting um, this Negro um, uh, biscuit eating ass, uh, 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 aunt your mama ass, motherfucking, uh, raccoon ass, motherfucking Kansas Owens. They've been paying this bitch to, uh, yeah, I'm calling it that. I'm going there tonight. That bitch, not calling no, no motherfucking queen. She a fucking bitch for the white man. You know what I'm saying? You a bitch. You know what I'm saying? You, you low like a dog. 
know what I'm saying? For crumbs. You know what I'm saying? As long as a white man can pay you a couple of dollars to talk about your people, you willing to jump on that bandwagon. You worse than these niggas that keep buying Gucci and Gucci put a black face out before they put the mask before the COVID-19 hit, they had a black mask out for the black face making fun of black people. And black people still buying Gucci. Bitch, you worse than one of them niggas. Yeah, you worse than one of them niggas. And you married a white man and you want to sit around and talk about the black man. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, fuck you and that crow magnum man. Bitch, you, I'm the original man. My self-esteem is through the roof. My self-esteem is through the roof. I'd rather be who the fuck I am than be your white man. Your white man is a Neanderthal. You know what I'm saying? I'm a homo sapien. I'm original man. I'm the first man to the planet, bitch. I know my history. I don't give a fuck if you made a fucking so-called prince. We know who the real princes are. We know who the real kings are. Who the real rulers of the land really was. You know what I'm saying? Everything come back full circle. You know what I'm saying? You don't know your history, Kansas Owens. If you knew your history, Kansas Owens, you wouldn't be hoeing for white supremacy. You want to talk about Cardi B being a hoe? You a hoe for white supremacy. You a hoe for white dick power. You ride white dick. You want to put down the black man and call every black man despicable. He's supposed to die at the hands of cops. You can't talk about Cardi B. You can't talk about Cardi B. You hope for white supremacy. Kansas Owens, who you talking about? You suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. You a retard. Anyone who hates himself is a retard. You a mental health patient. You suffer from mental side slavery. Yeah, it is a prognosis. Fuck, you gonna talk about LeBron? And you talk about entertainers. What about the entertainer, uh, Rick Shoulder, who got Cal Rittenhouse out? You didn't say nothing about the white boy, 17 years old, Cal Rittenhouse, who went to Kenosha, Wisconsin, and shot three people, killing two of them, and they raised... Two million dollars and got this dude out on bond and he ran. Where is Cal Wittenhouse at? Is he in custody yet? I don't see Kansas Owens tweet about these white race soldiers who's pulling out guns, shooting people. Where was she at when they killed people down in North Carolina? Daily Roof. And she said white supremacy. What's the problem here in this country? White supremacy run this country. The conservative party is white supremacy. What are you talking about? The Democrats. Democrats are Republican are racist. They never did nothing for black people systematically. They owe black people. Huh? You will get she's against reparations. She's against reparations. How the fuck is she's a free thinker and she thinks like the enemy? Kansas Owens, why you keep horn for white supremacy? The conservative party was built on white supremacy. This government was built on white supremacy. Thomas Jefferson was a slave owner. Fuck you talking about? George Washington was a slave owner. What the fuck are you talking about? Kansas Owens? Man, streets watching, man. Hey, mash up the lights. Share this video. Fuck Kansas Owens, man. She ain't black. We glad she exposed her hand. She can't be an agent to come up amongst us. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Kansas Owens. You feel me? Stay black, y'all. Streets watching. Black Pod. Hi, Micaiah Bryant. Again, I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right. I really don't care how I'm saying her name. I'm going to. He was put on the back of an NFL helmet. Now you have Makaya Bryant. Again, I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right. I really don't care how I'm saying her name. I'm going to be honest with you. Fam, see, I told y'all this sister suffers from a Stockholm Syndrome. Makaya Bryant lost her life, a 16-year-old little girl. Look how heartless she talks about.
this teenager who probably made a mistake holding on to a knife in front of a white officer who's going to snuff her life out. See, when the police come to the black and Latino neighborhoods, they come to eliminate, not to save anyone. They only save mass white shooters. It's amazing how mass white shooters have AR-15s, military M-16 weapons, and come out unscathed. Even the white Syrian guy who shut up the grocery store only got shot in the leg, and he killed 10 people. This sister suffers from Stockholm Syndrome. She doesn't care about black people. She says she don't care how she's saying this little girl's name, and she don't care. This is a white bigot in blackface. Now you have Makaya Bryant, a 16-year-old, who almost killed someone, and LeBron James decides to post a picture of the heroic police officer and say, you're next on his Twitter. I took a second, I thought to myself, okay, you know, before I react to this, maybe he's making a mistake because he doesn't know all the details. Because as we know, the media lies and pretends the person is a good human being. Micaiah Bryant's mother came out, even though Micaiah was a foster child, and she said, oh, she was, you know, she was about peace, something along those lines, that, that, that her daughter well, was really a peacemaker at the end of the day. I have never seen a peacemaker try to stab someone to death with a knife, but okay, Micaiah Bryant's mom, we'll believe you on this one. But maybe LeBron James got deluded by that quote and thought it was real and he reacted because he deleted the tweet. So I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt, but no, he has now followed up on the tweet and essentially said he only deleted it because he didn't want it to be taken out of context. And really he's hopeful that Micaiah Bryant gets justice, that her family gets justice because he is tired of seeing black Americans killed by police officers. <laughs> let's just, let's just reset that. He's okay. See fam, this Stockholm syndrome, this is white bigotry and black face. If we don't come out and stop this sister from speaking, she's going to intentionally manipulate young black women coming out of high school. Could you imagine our black women being the enemy of the black man and help white supremacy snuff us out? This is the game plan. Wake up, fam. This is the game plan. Wake up, fam. This is bigotry done in black face. With seeing black Americans get killed by other black Americans, because that's exactly what would have happened if a police officer didn't show up. He's just upset when a black criminal gets taken out by a police officer. What the hell are we even talking about right now in the site? How do you not see how degenerate that is? How do you not understand how poisonous that is, that a man with his following is out here saying that Micaiah Bryant deserves ju justice for what? She got justice when she tried to kill someone and somebody intervened. Bam, look at that face, fam. This face that she's displaying is a really vile hate and disdainful taste for black people. This is self-hate. She's thinking degenerate and her thinking is suicidal. She hates black people. Listen to the tone. The sister's program, y'all, Stockholm Syndrome. Man with his following is out here saying that Micaiah Bryant deserves justice for what? She got justice when she tried to kill someone and somebody intervened. That is literally the function of the police. If your husband, your loved ones, or a friend, a friend of yours, and you got into a dispute and someone charged at you with a knife, would you be hoping that that police officer didn't intervene on the basis that that person was maybe black? Oh, don't intervene, please, please. Allow me to die. Allow me to be stabbed to death because I just couldn't bear, I couldn't bear the idea of you shooting this person that's trying to kill me. We are losing all morality in this society. These people, these people like LeBron James, he's a coward. He's disgusting. I honestly, I am now physically disgusted by LeBron James. She's physically disgusted by LeBron James. This self, this self hate y'all. And this is who they endorse. White people endorse her. This is the most intelligent mind that they say that black people got to offer the world.
and I beg to differ. This is retardation. This is another embarrassment for black people to have someone from among us look like us speak in behalf of white supremacy. Fail. This stuff deep. Stockholm syndrome. I think he is. Dis I think he is despicable. I think LeBron James should have all of his sponsorships taken from him for putting the face of a heroic police officer and saying. I think he is. Dis I think he is despicable. I think LeBron James should have all of his sponsorships taken from him. Honestly, I am now physically disgusted by LeBron James. I think he is. Dis I think he is morality in the society. These people. These people like LeBron James. He's a coward. He these people, these people, she is disassociating herself from black people when she say these people. See, she thinks she better than black people because she can rub shoulders with white people. I know a lot of people like that. This is retardation. This is the disease that no one is talking about. How come we can't get black psychologists together to help our people with Stockholm Syndrome. We need to address Stockholm Syndrome. She might always be a suicide bomber because she's speaking against herself. The enemy only using her. The devil only uses you as a tool. This is the white man's tool, y'all. This big retreat, big retreat in blackface. Streets watching. It's disgusting. I honestly, I am now physically disgusted by LeBron James. I think he is. Dis I think he is despicable. I think LeBron James should have all of his sponsorships taken from him for putting the face of a heroic police officer and saying you're next to him, and then doubling down, doubling down, okay, and turning around and saying that this girl deserves justice. I think he's despicable. If that, if if, if the situation was reversed, if a black officer had shot a white person, okay, who was charging another white person and saved the life of that other white person that was being charged and a, and somebody else had stood up and said, a black police officer had put a picture of him up and said, this guy, he's next, basically trying to signal to the world that this person is, is somehow in the wrong, they would have had all of their sponsorships removed. They would have had to step down from the NBA. No questions asked, no questions asked. But LeBron James, I guess, gets to be celebrated because he's black so he gets to experience black privilege right he can just say whatever the hell he wants like he did a while ago when he said we literally can't go outside we're being hunted down all of these things celebrated because he's black so he gets to experience black privilege right he can just say whatever the hell he wants like he did a while ago when he said we literally can't go outside we're being hunted down all of these things he gets to add to this hey that's true i don't follow celebrities because celebrities don't do nothing for black people. Celebrity are put in position by white elite. So I don't really mess with celebrities. But LeBron James told the truth. Black people can't go outside, especially black men. We are being hunted. What is she talking about? This is Stockholm Syndrome, my people.